When you look at the best motion design out there, you'll often find very complex animations that not only are cool to look at, but also use movement to support the message of the video. And you might be wondering, how do those animators manage to achieve such great results? Where do they get ideas for movement? Why do things move in a specific way? And how do they manage the complexity of so many elements? Unfortunately, there's no plugin that lets you just press one button to get these results. But there is a series of strategies and techniques that you can use to build up your scenes. Starting simply to get the foundation right, adding more complexity once you have the right direction. This approach is what you'll learn in Advanced Motion Methods. You'll learn how to structure your animations, starting with creating a rough timing based on patterns that we find in the natural world, and ending with a fully polished motion design piece that just feels right. You'll explore the world of transitions, learning to use both simple tricks and complex setups to add awesome moments to your animation work. You'll practice the art of problem solving so you can figure out how to achieve effects and movements you've never executed before. And you'll use these new ideas and tools to complete exercises that mimic real world projects. We've brought on some of the top designers in the industry to provide designs and assets for you to animate. You'll listen to the Advanced Motion Methods podcast where Joey and I interview studios and artists to gain insights in how they work and how they achieve such stunning results. And we've put together a collection of professional workflow tips and tricks to help you get acclimated to the pace and expectations of the top studios out there. It won't be easy, but you'll have plenty of help. A teaching assistant will be giving you feedback and targeted critique throughout the entire process. Thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you in class.